Hey Frigo family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I wanted to talk to you about my family, my very unique family. I always get questions about my family and where I'm from and what I am. I thought I was a person, but um, apparently not. People often try and guess my origins. So today I'm gonna hopefully demystify that for you and help you out a little bit with that. six months old um, in all actuality I'm an only child meaning I don't have any other natural siblings I found out but um, I was adopted um, into a Caucasian persuasion family <laughs> I feel very blessed to be adopted a lot of people say oh you're adopted like it's a bad thing heck no I didn't have to ride out the system until I was 18 and I know some people do so I feel very blessed to be part of such a large, obnoxiously fun, crazy family. I was adopted into um, a small family, which then later grew, you'll find out. But my mom and dad adopted me and they already had two boys. So I have um, two big brothers. My adoptive father is Irish, so I used to have an Irish last name. And my mom is Dutch and German. And so I was this little brown chica <laughs> into this Caucasian persuasion family I came. Um, I guess it was at a time um, when there was a huge influx of, uh, they said, black children in that area um, that needed homes for whatever reason. So I was adopted and then shortly, and I think it was six months old, I think. Um, and shortly thereafter that, my sister was adopted. Um, she's not my natural, I guess, sister, um, but she comes from another family and um, she does have brothers and sisters. My sister is African American. She came from another black family. We've got my mom and dad, my two big brothers. I have a sister, myself. Later, my parents got divorced and my mom uh, eventually married another man and he is Italian. That is where I get my Italian name, Frigo. So I'm now Aaron Frigo. And um, people um, always are like, like Frigo cheese? And I'm like, yes, like Frigo cheese. <laughs> it ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> Keep it pushing. And then my grandfather moved over to Lena, Wisconsin, and my grandparents lived there and started the Frigo Cheese Factory there. So, yes, I am part of the Frigo Cheese Dynasty, believe it or not. Yes. Would you like some mozzarella cheese sticks right now? So there's six kids, plus mom and dad, plus some animals. That's a big old family. Yes. Yes. So when my mom remarried, um, my name did change to Frigo. So now I'm Aaron Frigo. But here's something that's kind of trippy. When I was adopted, I wasn't meant to be adopted. That's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother video. Let me know if you want to see it. Comment below. Aaron Frigo is not my real name. If you want to know my real name, let me know. That's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. Um, but for all intents and purposes of this video, I am Aaron Frigo. We never referred to each other um, as half brothers or stepsister or half or step anything. You know what I mean? I mean, we've always just considered each other as family. I mean, we totally look differently. I mean, we totally look different from each other. I mean, that's obvious. But I've never considered any of my brothers or my sister any less of a brother or sister because we come from different moms, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I know sometimes people get caught up in the labels, but we never did. I never say this is my half brother or this is my step brother or sister, never. Ever, ever in my life have we ever given each other labels. I love all of them as if we came from the same mama. They're my real brothers and sisters. I mean, I grew up with them. 
and they grew up with me, sadly. Sorry guys. Uh -huh. When I was about 14 or 15, um, I had the opportunity to meet my birth mother. That's a whole nother conversation. Comment down below if you want to hear that story. I met my birth mother when I was 15. Um, she is black and so is my birth father. A lot of people just all my life have just assumed that I'm an Oreo. Like one parent is Caucasian and one is African American. That in my case is not true. I mean, I know I look like a little brown girl, like a cafe con leche, but I'm actually not. Both parents are black and my real name, I'd love to tell you. Let me know if you want to know that story. Comment below. People always ask me what it was like growing up in um, white middle America, being one of the few black people. I mean, when I go home now, there's so much more um, diversity. There's Latino people, black people, um, Asian, Hmong, um, Samoan, just all sorts of different kinds of people. But when I was little, that was not necessarily the case. And depending on which town, not city, town you were in, that was very much not the case. People always ask, what's it like being the only black girl in school? You were the only one, really? <laughs> yes, for most of my life I was. Until my sister came to school. I think one other time there was like a black family in town. I don't know. I mean, quite honestly, I never knew I was different from other people until people pointed it out. My family never pointed it out. I mean, that's your family. There's you're just your family, you know? Other than that, I really didn't know until maybe somebody, somebody at school said something or somebody maybe in the community, somebody maybe he, who wasn't nice about it. Um, I do remember some pretty, pretty scary times though. Um, one time I remember it was Halloween and my mom told me this later. Um, I remember I came home from school that day and we lived out in the country at the time and this one um, kid sat behind me on the bus, this one farm kid, and because uh, there's a lot of farms around our, where we lived, and this one farm boy um, got on the bus and sat behind me and he said to me, he goes, I'm a member of the Ku Klux Klan and tonight I'm going to set a cross on your front lawn. And I went home and I told that to my mom. And I remember my mom told me later, way later, that she stayed up watching the front lawn all night. You know, a protective mama bear had to watch over her bear cubs. <laughs> Thank goodness nobody ever set a burning cross in our front yard, but there were some people like that there. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> but quite honestly, most of the time, I didn't know I was different. You know what I mean? Um, if anybody ever said anything mean, I think it was probably because they're jealous of my permanent tan. My nice, smooth, caramel skin. Oh, yes. My coffee con leche skin. I think they were just jealous of my permanent tan. I mean, if they wanted to, they could ask if I wanted to rent it out. I would have said yes. One thing I never liked growing up was when people would assume what I was and call me biracial. First of all, what is biracial? I know bi means two and racial means race. Of two races? I don't really think it matters what race you're from. Race. We're all from the human race in my opinion. I think everybody out there is a mishmash of something out there in their bloodline. But speaking directly of my mom and dad, my birth parents, People always assume that one of my parents was Cafe Caucasian Persuasion and the other one was Cafe Chocolate Americano. Sounds like I'm ordering something at Starbucks. But no, I did not have one Caucasian mom and a black dad. No, both my parents, as I said, are black. I'd like to say that I'm from one race, the human race. We're all from the human race. Everybody likes to put labels on stuff. Some people would call my family a blended family, that we've blended all together, I guess. And I'm so glad for families like mine. It makes for a really interesting story. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole lot more where that came from. So comment below if you wanna know more about my story. Um, tell me about your story. Tell me in the comments what your family is like. 
Do you have a unique crazy family like mine? I would love to know. See you next week, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Talk about a crazy family going crazy. You've got your Italians talking and eating with your hands at the dinner. Yo, pass me the meatballs. Yo, how you doing? And I got some more pasta. Yeah. Okay, sorry, that was crazy. <laughs> but it was really loud in my house sometimes. All the time.